Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, where you are, I'm Tanker Bricks, and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at um, two very old videos I have done. Um, the first one is my 2017 France and Belgium trip, and the second one is my Brickmania Vietnam mock contest starting my submission. The reason why I'm doing this is because I thought after long hard what to do I've had a month to plan and I thought well I've got a feeling my viewers could do with um, basically having a reflection of my my channel over the years because yes I've answered questions um, that they have um did, done in a recent video um a couple of months ago and i've tried to include my viewers as much as i can in my videos um i figured i better uh have a kind of a review of two of my old videos that i have done and to whether it's to laugh or to um reflect and see how much my channel has changed over the years um so it is it is a remarkable achievement reaching 115 subscribers i must say that um but yeah so here it is, the first video is 2017 of France and Belgium trip which was published on the 9th of July 2017 that currently, and I mean currently, has 149 views it's got 6 likes, it's got 1 dislike it's been active for about um. Well, it's been online for four years, so let's have a look. Hi guys, Tanker P123 here, and I will actually I'm going to do a YouTube video, so it's about my trip to France and Belgium. So I went there and I did a lot of stuff which I can remember, but I have finally forgotten. So let me check on some little notes. Okay, so, oh, I left for 725, which actually was not too bad. So I'm going to break for 6. So that is not entirely, I'm not entirely sure if that is a good thing or what. Waking up at 6, leaving at 725. Then we went to the several Allied war graves. Then in Ypres. We saw the Menengate, which I got from a photo, but I can't show you that. To be honest, I'd actually forgotten about, um, that basically this was when my channel was just taking off, and essentially it, um, it's slowing about maybe 15, 20 subscribers, um, but never would I have thought that today, in 2021, that it would have... 149 views so that is impressive so i'm already 54 minutes in this is it's it's nostalgic to say the least because i have completely forgotten about these stuff although some of the stuff that is in the video i do still have it so I've got the playing cards which I use, I use them as bookmarks, they're very helpful bookmarks. Um, so there's a couple of things that, uh, that I've got. So without further ado, let's get back into the video. Anna and Naomi. Then I went to Hill 62, which I had Anna Francis, and unfortunately, 
Turn it around. Cool. Okay, I'm just gonna pause the video and just say I got blisters when I went to L62. I completely forgot about the fact that I got blisters. I mean, yeah, L62 was brilliant, but I got blisters, so that was a, it was a kind of a oh, it's kind of an oh moment. So, keep laying. Cemetery where there were loads of allied, uh, those the largest lot of allied graves in the, the Essex Hill Cemetery. And then on the, that was on the 6th of the 7th, 2017. And then on the next day, we left a hostel at 9 30, went to the crater. The... At this point, I'm probably mumbling, or I just want to die of embarrassment because. To be honest, I'd completely forgotten about this stuff. I mean, because when I release my videos, I don't really tend to check on them. I mean, yes, I may do uh, watch them just to make sure that everything is okay. But it's just like, wow, I completely forgotten that I actually did this. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, I think we're, we're only got two minutes to go and I think it's a good time to cut and move to the next video which is Britmania Vietnam mock contest start of the master vision both of the videos that were featured in this video they will be linked in the description below so if you would like to check them out uh, you're more than welcome to and um, I'd, I'd appreciate it if you check them out but um it would be pretty cool if you know you'd be able to check it out um the videos give maybe give them a thumbs up and um maybe even a comment because um that helps youtube algorithm promote the videos because they released so we are now going to move on to go quick mania vietnam mock contest starting my submission Please uh, hold whilst I click on it. And Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the start of my Vietnam uh, diorama for the Ritmania's uh, mock uh, contest. So I've actually done a bit of research about what I'm going to do and I'm going to focus on the um, where the, the British were trying to restore order in some... Hold on one minute, I just realised I completely forgot to introduce the video. So, I published it on the 20th of January 2021. Um, which is in seven days time, it will be... It will be seven months ago, so it's seven, six and a bit months ago, I published it. Currently, as we speak, which is the 13th of August, I do like to publish my videos ahead of schedule. Um, it is currently on... <laughs> um, I'm trying to do a job, but um, we are on 204 views. So that is impressive. Um, that is really impressive, 204 views. Isn't that right, Sarge? Yes, it is. It is correct. Everything is correct. <laughs> so, um, two hundred four views. This is probably one of my most viewed videos. It's got seventeen likes, three dislikes, seventeen comments. So let's hop into it. Hop into the video. on that time period because I've obviously got British soldiers that can actually work and function as they need to because basically a bit of history about Vietnam. Um, it was called French Indochina, Indochina and um, basically during World War Two, it was controlled by the French, then the Vichy French after France's fall in 1940, then the Japanese then the Viet Minh, who seized control, then it was kind of
kind of mixture of British and Korean Japanese versus the said Viet Minh. So I'm trying to focus on that. So it, it's still in progress because the mock contest on, on, ends on the 1st of June 2021. Um, so I'm just kind of uh, shaping it because that's the beauty of Lego. You can change, you can redesign, you can do anything. So I've just tried to just do it as best as I can with the British Harvest Storm order and law in Saigon in the fact that, well, we may kind of declare the independence and well, French weren't too happy about that, so I asked the British to uh, wade in, uh, which they did, because um, it was just, it was the best thing they could do, I mean, because, well, at that time, most countries wanted an independence, um, but the former colonial powers, so the French, Dutch, and the British, weren't going to let that happen. So, um, basically, Kind of trying to get a sense of lawlessness, but basically, it's kind of like, yeah, this is chaos. I mean, because there were, um, basically, the figure will start off, give you a general overview. So, it's there. I completely forgotten about the fact that I actually made a pub that somehow in my French you know, China survived pretty much everything so whether it's, <laughs> whether it's bombings or uh, bullet holes at the pub was still standing so it's 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 a miracle still standing so let's move on um we've got oh my god we've got a little ammunition dump it's kind of under a small house it would have reorganised and everything. Um, if you've got any uh, suggestions or stuff you can think, put them in the comments. Because that's the best. I'd like to add a uh, thank you very much for um, the people who have commented um, their suggestions. Um, so those people are uh, Ben Up Richard, uh, if I pronounced that correctly. So thank you very much for your suggestions in my. Uh, started my mock contest sub submission. Um, yeah, so but basically, so thank you very much for uh, your comments. Um, yeah, no, uh, basically, Ben was the only one who submitted uh, an uh, good, <laughs> not good, but ev everyone who commented did excellently, but Ben um, did. Uh, he did uh, advice, so thank you very much uh, for your advice again. Um, so I'm gonna let it play. Where you can help me to improve, put it in the comments. That's the key thing. Or email me at tanker for you one two three at gmail.com. Email me or comment on it, thinking what can you change about it. What do you like about it? It's the best thing you can do to improve it. That sort of thing. So, um, basically we've got a little uh, shelter thing for tools and stuff. I'm not sure why I did it, but it's like a personal place. We've got uh, interrogation, so everything has to produce passports and stuff to prove that yes, they are so-and-so. Got a kind of chaos and stuff where suffering tipped over. That sort of thing, so. Oh yeah. Bit of an interesting fact, um, the Vietmin used captured Japanese weapons and artillery pieces, that sort of thing, um, against the British and stuff. Um, we've got a former French colonial official's office that's been... I'm going to pause the video and um, um, I think it's a suitable time to end the video as it is, time is ticking on. Um, so if we go to my channel studio this is going to be an interesting bit we're going to go to uh what we can go to hmm, i think analytics perfect okay right uh, what do we want it's top videos lifetime there so what are my top videos i've done so 
top videos of my entire channel span of four years are number one is the Britmania Vietnam Mock Contest title match submission with uh, 204, and 204 views. Then it's Truthful Dead with uh, Alvin Iron and Jensen Mart and Poetic Puddle Scout uh, with 152. Then it's my France and Belgian trip in 2017 with 149. Um, and there's the list of it goes on. The one that has my 10th place is my Britmania SU76 review with 99 views. And it's, I mean, to be honest, I've got I've got six K views. That is that is good. Six K views, that is brilliant. 115 subscribers. There is 78.1 uh, watch out watch time in hours. So that is really good. So please keep watching my videos and liking, subscribing, obviously. And also commenting on this video, which is uh, any any video, it doesn't matter which, just comment on it, just whether it say it's good or bad, and what can I do to improve. But there are some videos, such as my um, my War Thunder ones, where I've uh, learned from stuff that I did, and I've uh, improved in regards to my uh, Lego War Thunder my YouTube channel in general so uh, thank you very much please like so like the video comment down below and hit the subscribe button please um, that is uh, one less thing for you guys to think about being subscribed to me because I release what I hope is interesting and entertaining content for you my viewers so thank you very much I'll see you next week.